Frida Kahlo's home, that which is called the Casa Azul because it's bright, bright blue walls on the outside, it was built by Frida Kahlo's father in Coyoacan, a district in the southern part of Mexico City. Frida was born there, and she lived there most of her life. When I was doing the research in the mid-70s, I spent a lot of time there, and I really did feel her presence because all of her objects are there, and people are sort of present in the things that they choose to have around them during their life. She spent a lot of time in bed in her house. When people went on trips, she always wanted them to bring her some little thing. She loved objects, and I think they were a kind of connection with the outside world for her when she was more isolated. The house is decorated with mostly folk artifacts, a reflection of her sympathy for the people of Mexico, the poor of Mexico, the Indians, and that was such a powerful matter of pride for Frida Kahlo to be very Mexican. Mexicanidad was a very strong emotion, even a political feeling, in all the artists in Mexico during the 20s and 30s and 40s. Casa Azul is the essence of Mexicanidad. You don't feel the presence of Diego Rivera very much, except maybe in the garden where his pyramid is. It's really Frida, and you do feel a lot of her anguish. It's sort of full of sorrow. The house for Frida was kind of her oasis because she spent so much time in bed and the house was almost like her clothes. I mean, she spent hours dressing, picking the right color sash or ribbons for her hair, what flowers she would wear, what jewelry. And the house was sort of the same. I and mean, she decorated it and she cared about it. And it became a reflection of herself. Mm -hmm. 